that bucket is not standing there for nothing because above it there's a little gutter between this barn and the old cow stable and obviously it is leaking unfortunately it's rather difficult to gain access to that gutter both from this side and that one so the leaking gutter is up there above that uh, little pipe no way I can gain access from here and the water drains from that little pipe here onto this uh, lower gutter and from the other side it is also impossible to get decent access I tried but the best I can do is uh, have a look inside the gutter and uh, remove some of the rotten reeds so this is the best I can do to show the gutter so my best solution that I can think of is to um, break through the roof remove those um, roof tiles and perhaps some of the reeds and then I can get my fat ass through the roof and hopefully gain access to the gutter and maybe well then I should find a way to repair it yeah this is going to be a terrible job well I'm not really sure how I should do this I'm thinking I should remove this uh, piece of wood so I can take out these tiles at the moment they are pretty stuck and perhaps it's also needed to cut these wires and these wires go to steel rods that run parallel and basically those rods hold down the reeds at least I think that is uh, how it is done so I'm planning to uh, remove this section of wood and then I can take out maybe three um, roof tiles and hopefully I then have enough access to check the, um, the gutter because the gutter is made of two overlapping plates of zinc and I suspect that where these two plates are joined there is the leak Okay, now the other side. Huh. I get the impression there's no nail on this side. Whoa. I'm surprised how far the reeds go down into the color. There's less room than I expected. But I do see the gutter better than I ever did. I'll give you a look at the gutter. Well, that's the best I can do. The external microphone is hitting the roof. So now I'm going to cut away some of these uh, reeds so I have a little bit better access. And then I can use some, uh, some sealant in the gutter and hopefully get my uh, leak fixed. I was planning to use this big knife to cut away the reeds but it doesn't really work for me. So scissors it is. All these are pruning scissors but they are tough enough to cut through the reeds. Well, barely, because the reeds are also tough. Unfortunately, the uh, joint between these uh, two pieces of uh, sink gutter is pretty bad. It, it's, it's not broken, it's rotten through. And I cannot film it, I had to use my mirror to uh, actually see it. There's the bad spot. It would be best if the whole gutter was uh, replaced but that's not in the cards for this year for now I will use some sealant and maybe some some rubber patch to uh, get it through the winter I use some of this uh, wet sealant fix I think it's basically tar your hands get really dirty 
and I had to do this uh, almost blind while my hands got caught between the reeds and the uh, uh, sink from the gutter and after this uh, sealant I used a patch from this uh, material I think it's called uh, PDM but I might be wrong on that and well it's basically some sort of uh, tape it's it's a bit sticky well hopefully this is going to last a few winters the tiles are basically back in the correct position and now I need to mount this piece of wood again that job is done and let's hope um, I won't be needing that bucket or that cat litter box to catch the rain but at some point a professional will have to replace the uh, sink let's hope I can find one because uh, professionals are kind of hard to find at least the ones that are uh, affordable <laughs> 